from work. Yay! It's Tuesday. I realised I totally forgot to vlog yesterday. Bad vlogger. But just got home, started Percy out and um oh. And now I've got to go house shopping with my brother, homewares shopping. He's um booked me, he gets a load of hotel points through his work and he's booked me a night stay in London when I'm down there for my brows doing for free using his points so it's like 150 quid's worth of points so I said in return I'd go house shopping with him and but seriously he's worse than a woman so everyday sexism there from me but yeah he's dreadful when it comes to shopping so this should be fun he's in the car downstairs waiting for me now so I'm gonna go but I will see if I can get some vlog footage of homewares because everybody loves a homeware see you later shopping trip yay we went to home sense okay Percy okay he's just crying at me um, I went to home sense and then to the range he got two pieces of art and some dinner placemat things but look what I got <laughs> hold that Woo! it's a jardin jardin some kind of pretend plant so I'm thinking it'll look nice from like a flat perspective for flat layers um, and I was going to get a chopping board to go with it but they only had like pale wood ones and I wanted a darker wood one so the search continues yeah I'm going to go get something to eat sort Percy out because he's running around the house crying what? <laughs> so yes yeah. I will check in with you all probably tomorrow. Um, I can't see me doing much tonight other than trying to upload this week's vlog. Last week's vlog? Either way, one week's vlog. And trying to edit my video for Saturday. So, see you all later, guys. Hey, guys. So, I have lots of exciting news to share with you. What day is it? It's Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Um, I should be going to Weight Watchers. But I went last Friday, so um, pointless going again today. So I'm going to skip a week and go next Wednesday. But, hello Percival. Exciting news, as I said. Um, the other day I got emailed by um, the French tourist board and got offered a weekend in Paris next week. Um, and I kept it kind of quiet because I didn't want to jinx it and whatnot. But then... I went in work today and asked for the Friday off so I could get the Eurostar, da Eurostar down there. And I can't have time off work. <laughs> There's some other people off um, and I just can't have it off, which is sad times. So I emailed them and asked if I could go down on the Sunday. Percy. Asked if I could... Ooh. What's this? Yes, asked if I could go down on the Sunday on the Saturday sorry and they was like oh can you come down the Friday night because we don't want you to miss the Parisian nightclub 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can still go. Uh, so I'm going to ask work if I can finish half day in the office and then work on the train on the way down to London to get the Eurostar and then on the Eurostar um, and do it that way. So I'll still be working but not actually in the office. I'm hoping that's okay. I think the reason I can't have it off is because there's not many people actually in the office on that day. So I'm hoping a half day is okay and working remotely. Um, I'm going to see. Because otherwise, if I was going on the Saturday morning, the train fare is ridiculous. So it would have meant getting the 7.30 mega bus from Leeds to London, getting into London at 12 o'clock, waiting around six hours, <laughs> and then getting the six o'clock Eurostar to get into Paris for about nine o'clock-ish. Which I'm very prepared and willing to do, 100%. And if I have to do that, then that's what I have to do. But hopefully I can get there and enjoy the Friday night stuff as well. And the early Saturday morning stuff. It's so exciting. Um, what else has happened today? Yes, um, this camera is crap. So um, I've been looking at getting another one. But I can't afford to just go out and get a new one. So I found a couple of second-hand ones um, that are about 150 to £200. The cat's about to knock the chair over. Wait for it. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, about 150 to £200. So I've had to sell my old DSLR, the Canon 100D, and I've sold this camera as well. So yes, I'm going to have to probably vlog on my Canon 60D massive DSLR for a while until my new one arrives with the swap over and stuff after I've sent this off this weekend. So it's very exciting. Yeah, I'm going to have shiny new vlogs. I'm looking at the minute at getting either a Sony Alpha A5000 or a Samsung NX Mini. They're both like 20 megapixels and they're mirrorless interchangeable lens devices. So, yay, it's going to be some good vlogs. Although it's going to be scary because you're actually going to be able to see the state of my face now. So, yeah, that's all that's happened today quite exciting stuff so um, I've also got some emails from it's strange because I've got something like 70 YouTube subscribers if that I've got two vlogs out soon to be three tonight and I've already had like emails about YouTube opportunities like paid for ones which is ridiculous um, but yeah it's crazy 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 craziness so I'm very excited the cat's got hold of the curtains and I'm gonna go strangle him bye Percy, no. See, I'm trying to set up some shots. Uh, some, I'm trying to set up a setup to do some um, inserts for my YouTube video about this unboxing. And Percy is just being a little git, shall we say, <laughs> without going into too many swears. He's like <laughs> all over everything. I'm just like, for God's sake, I just want to set him up. As soon as I set it up, he starts throwing stuff everywhere. I might have to go lock him out of the living room. Look, there he's knocked makeup brushes everywhere. God give me strength. Sugar. That does. But remember, you're going to have that balance, and the main thing we're going to come back to when we do that is we're going to sugar talk about balance. balance and about how that should <laughs> level. So your sugar's going in there, and then we're just going to break that down with some water as well. A bar spoon is just bigger than a teaspoon. He's making it home without a bar spoon. Um, and all we're doing is just with the, the flat of the spoon, you don't even need to use a bar spoon at home, you can use a wooden spoon if need be. You're just going to stir that and just kind of break that down a touch and you'll just see it start to break down after a short while. Now whilst I'm talking to you, the reason why we're breaking this down is what we're doing, when we just mentioned this sugar syrup or this gone earlier, we're kind of making a super concentrated version of this. This is just really sort of sugar, sugar and, and water, super easy. Now, these Angostura bitters, these are from Trinidad and Tobago, like I mentioned earlier. Okay, um, the best way to taste bitters, okay, 
Sorry, I'll move that no, way. No, you, no, you no, that back? no, no, that. go for it. Best way to taste bitters is not by putting them onto your mouth. I know it sounds daft. Okay? You put them into your hand, small amount into your hand, rub them together, and then breathe, breathe in through your nose. And essentially, you'll get all of the, for you guys, and when we're making a batch, I'm just going to take these back a second, is if we were to go to, let's say, one dash per, so we're going to do 10 dashes in here. Okay, so it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to stop. Obviously, immediately you can see that that darkens the colour now. That makes it quite dark, um, almost clovey-like. You should get a lot of clove, a lot of cinnamon, a lot of bark going on the flavours. And you can see now that we're starting to break down that sugar. That's a lot of whiskey. And we pour all that out straight in. Okay, get all those drips in. And this is going to be our batch. Give it another stir just to make sure you've got no excess in the bottom. Okay. Now we'll put that to one side for a minute. The next key ingredient is um, we cut that around. Do that again, and we can keep following that all the way around the glass, all the way around the glass, all the way around the orange rather. If we get a small bit on there, it doesn't matter because we're going to show you something in just a sec. We're going to take off a full peel to one bottle. Okay, so you see all of these pieces now, they've all still got a lot of bitterness in them. This is where our, our skills come in with a little bit of knife work. Now we're just going to cut away the small white pith. Oh, that's Clearly. No. I don't think we know of fingers left. So as you can see, you're left with a slight excess, which my brother to the right of me will now make myself Ian and himself an old button. 